students, welcome to the lesson 6.4 video. So in this video, the objective is to go over 6.4, just the beginning stuff, the main concepts, uh, especially as it relates to another formula I'm going to throw at you. If you remember from 6.3, we use what's called the percent proportion, which is a formula. And today we're going to dive into the percent equation, which is really just a variation of the percent proportion, but once again, it's another formula. So what I would like you to do is go ahead and take out your foldable, go to 6.4, and we're gonna go ahead and transition into the actual lesson, key ideas and example set. So with that being said, let me direct you to my screen. In front of you is the 6.4 example set. Uh, we will have a set of key ideas and about eight examples that I wanna go over. So the big thing, when you're watching a video tutorial, make it a point to pause when you think you need to. So right now, okay, feel free to pause and get this information down. And once you do, go ahead and resume the video. I'm gonna let it roll for a couple seconds before I officially start talking about the content. Go for it. All right, so once again, pause as needed. I'm gonna zoom in on the key idea. So this section 6.4 is all about the percent equation. And if we remember from 6.3, we call it the percent proportion because it was part, over, part divided by the whole equals the percent divided by 100. Well, the percent equation is basically a rearrangement of it, okay? And it's A, equals PW and all of the pieces are exactly the same as what we use with the proportion but think of this as the step after we cross multiply so the percent equation is basically taking the percent proportion and eliminating the cross breadsticks step or method so there's a couple things we got to be careful of when using the percent equation though for a that is going to be the part, okay? We talked about that the other day. And over here, I'm gonna skip over to W being the whole. Those do not change, okay? So the part and the whole are exactly the same. And you're gonna find that 6.4 is fairly repetitive from 6.3. It's just the P, the percent that kind of adjusts. So I'm gonna make it a different color bold so you can see it. P is the percent, but it is in it is in decimal form. So this is where we have to quickly convert the percent to decimal form. So in order to use the percent equation, P has to be the decimal. We can't use the actual percent. So the key thing in applying this today is that we got to do it in our head. It was all the way back in 6.1 where we went ahead and converted numbers left and right moving to decimal to go ahead and figure out its form. So quick example, okay? And this is just a review. You do not have to write this down if you're okay with it. But if we have 99%, decimal form would be 0.99 because I moved the decimal two to the left, okay? So we have to use the decimal form when doing this, okay? So with that being said, go ahead and pause this video if needed, okay? Because I'm going to go into the example set and just like 6.3, we're going to start by labeling A, W, and P and see how we can use the percent equation appropriately, okay? So pause this video. I'll let it roll for a couple seconds. All right, should be pretty good. Let's go to the example set. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of space because we are going to solve these. But I'm basically going to do the first couple with you, and then I'm going to set you loose to try the other ones on your own throughout this video. So the big thing, okay, if we remember from 6.3 is that we got a label. And little clues, okay, of usually means the whole, and is usually means the part. Now, we can't always hold ourselves to that, but those are good clue words that will help us. So... Let's look at number one. It says 27 is what percent of 90? So I know percent is P. Of 90 is going to be W. 27 is going to be my part. But since we are using the percent equation now, I'm going to use A equals PW. And then I'm going to plug everything in. So 27 equals P times 
90. And look at that, we have a lovely one-step equation. And at this point, if I wanna solve for P, I gotta divide by 90, divide by 90, okay? And that's gonna cancel out the 90. And I get P equals, let's go ahead and take out our calculator to confirm that. And that, at this point, that's just calculator math. It's 27 divided by 90, and it's 0 0.3. But that's not my final answer, because remember, when we use the percent equation, we get the decimal form. So 0.3 is not the percent. It's actually, so I'm going to have to do one more conversion, P equals 30%. I got to convert it to a percent. So that is how the percent equation works. Same thing with A, P, and W. We just got to be careful that when we get the P, we have to go ahead and convert it. Okay? So take a moment to look at this. Pause the video if needed to review. And then I'm going to do number two and move on from there. All right. So Looking at number two, it says seven is 5% of what number? So seven is 5%, five is definitely P, of what number? That's probably W, and seven is A. Now, as someone noticed in the previous set of lessons, a lot of times these number, uh, these percent sentences are A, P, and W in that order, but not always. So just be careful of that. We can't always assume that. Do your labeling using the clue words. So let's use APW. A equals P times W. A is 7. P is 5%, but remember, we got to convert it. So 5% converted is 0 0.05 because I moved the decimal 2 over to the left times W. And at this point, I can now solve it. So I'm going to divide by 0 0.05 on both sides. And you'll notice that there's a pattern. Anytime we are solving for P or W, we do have to use inverse operations of division. So finishing this strong, 7 divided by 0 0.05 is 140 equals W. Now, since this is not a percent, we solve for W, we don't have to convert it. 140 equals W. So 7, okay, is 5% of 140. And that's good. So take a moment to review this. You can see that I've the first two examples I've given you show you how you got to convert the percent. And that's the only difference between 6.3 and 6.4, where instead of using the percent proportion where we use the actual percent, percent equation, we use the actual decimal. So with that, go ahead and pause this video needed. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so you can see the rest of the examples. And what I would like you to do is try these next six questions on your own. I'm going to pause the video and let it roll for a little bit, and then all of the answers are going to magically show up, okay? So, but I want you to try these on your own, do the labeling, ensure that you have it organized using the equation, all right? Go for it. All right, students, so what you should see is the answers pop up on your screen at this point, uh, and double check three through eight based on your results and my answer key up here. I will state, once you label them, the key things after that are making sure you're careful with your equation solving. These are just one step equations, so be mindful. There's not a whole lot going on here. You just gotta be careful with what you divide through or multiply through. Number four is an example where if you're solving for A, you just multiply the right side. And if you look at number six, we got our answer as 0.375, but we do have to go ahead and convert that percent again, 37.5. And in all of the equations, if they give you percent, you have to convert it to a decimal, and that is going to be key. So look and review your responses to ensure that yours look similar to mine and figure out where your mistakes are, if any, okay? At this point, this completes the notes for 6.3. Four, okay, so what's going to happen after this is I want you to go ahead and transition into working on your homework questions. They should be very similar to what we just did. And then in the next lesson, part two of this lesson, we're going to go dive into some real world situations. Uh, story problems, most of you will hear it as, but we're going to talk about tips and discounts and sales tax, things that you actually get involved in or use consistently throughout your life. So. 
Uh, review this video at any point if needed. Okay, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you.